y'all, we're back with the review slash recap of the new NBC <laughs> we drama. Like we did this show before. I know. But it just premiered today. It just premiered. Serious premiered ABC drama. This is us. It's a show. The series tells the story of people born on the same day. Yes. It premiered tonight. Um, so it stars Milo Ventimiglia as Jack, Mandy Moore as Rebecca. I knew that was Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore. I was like, that looks like Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore. That was Mandy Moore. Sterling K. Brown as Randall, Chrissy Metz as Kate, Justin Hartley as Kevin, Ooh. Susan Kalechi Watson as Beth, Chris Sullivan as Toby, and Ron Seppa Jones as William Hill. So, this show... I I didn't I didn't know I, I thought it was gonna be like one of those NBC no shows. Expect. I didn't know what to expect. I, me, thought was, I didn't I didn't. I thought it was gonna be like an NBC drama show, or maybe like kind of family oriented. So maybe kind of like you know one of those things. I didn't know if I was lately gonna like watching it, but I see it's like some twists and turns in here. A lot so, of twists and turns. It started off with uh, Rebecca. She was dancing for her man Jack. She was pregnant. They was having triplets. I was like, girl, your stomach is so huge. Was you having twins? No, triplets. Them gotta be quadruplets. She's having triplets. <laughs> So, you know, they was all dancing around, so it was his 36th birthday, she yeah. had a cupcake, then it was Amy's 36th birthday, she got a, you know, a whole cake, it said happy birthday, then she's like, you suck, and then it was a guy named Randall's birthday, you know, he saw some good news about this guy, he's like, okay, he was opening up his email, seeing about this and that, so, Rebecca went into labor, she, her water broke actually, so it was like, okay, what the heck, then Kevin... They was like, okay, he was like, oh, I don't even look 36. I mean, I look 36. He was like, like you know, scared because he was 36 and yeah. he thought I was old and this and that. So, yeah, Kate was weigh weighing herself. She felt, she actually, she didn't fall off the scale. She was scared to get on the scale and then she slipped yeah. and twisted her ankle. So, yeah. So, then Kevin, he was telling everybody how second grade was like really bad for him and this whole part in his childhood, it really messed up everything. Then he ended up getting a call saying that his sister was hurt. She sprained mm -hmm. her ankle. She was like, "How did I get here?" And then, you know, he was like, "It gotta be with it gotta be with that second grade that didn't happen in second grade." And she was like, "Please, y'all, what happened in second grade?" I know, and I was like, "Oh, this, so they must be twins. Their birthday is on the, the same, same day. day." Kevin and Kate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you know, he was like, "Um, you the only." She was like, "You the only good thing in my life right now." You know what I'm saying? She's she like, was she like, "Well, I'm not even that good." And she's like, "Yeah, see, that's the problem." Yeah, so she's like, "I'm gonna lose his weight." She said she's gonna lose his weight. So, we had Rebecca and Jack. They was going to have triplets six week, er, six week early. Yeah. And, you know, they was in the, the, in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Jack touched a booty hole tool for your recto. That's disgusting. So, this, this guy, doctor. he was like, this doctor, he was like, uh, he was really long. He was like, I swear on my children and grandchildren's life that I will keep you with safe and all this and that. And I'll do this and that. And he, he was, was trying to reassure them yeah. because they original doctor. Appendix uh, busting. Yeah. So he was trying to reassure them that it was going to be okay. Because the original doctor, you know, been through mm -hmm. it with them all this time with their babies and stuff. But he just had to come in and, you know, do the job. And he was just trying to make them feel better. I still have to been like... I mean, he was making no. a lot of jokes and stuff and all that. But the doctors do kind of do that. They do do that a lot. Are they trying to lighten the mood or what? I guess they are, but sometimes it comes off as, like, obnoxious or, mm -hmm. like, just, like, please Snipe. stop. Like, please, please stop. But, yeah, so his name, his name is Kevin. He was on this TV show called The Manny. He played a Manny. Mm -hmm. He was trying to feed the mom, mommy feed the baby. And I was like, is that supposed to be, like, Melissa and Joey? Remember, was Joey the... It, it, no, it reminded me of Baby Daddy. Oh. Um, it reminded me of Miss Liz, jo Melissa and Joey, because wasn't he the nanny? No. On ABC Family? I don't think so. That was his woman, and she, he was living with her and his and her niece and nephew. Yeah, well, what, he was the nanny at first, though. Okay, anyway. But yeah, so then he was like, look, um, he, he went and talked to the guy... The producer, he's like, look, man, this is crazy. Why do I have to take my producer. shirt off? So he's like, look, you nobody ever cared about you since you did that three-arc episode on Nashville. But, uh, so, yeah, I can't be replaced by Ryan Gosling, Ryan Reynolds, or Ryan Phillippe. Any Ryan, really, before you get to your car in this parking lot. So, uh, just keep saying that. Ryan would never do this. Ryan Gosling has Yeah, that. but he was trying to, like... He's a struggling actor, like, he's, like, probably, this, this is, like, what, midlife crisis mm -hmm. and stuff, trying to figure out what is he doing, and should he really be 
just tolerating getting treated like a piece of meat, just having his shirt mm -hmm. off and acting like the dumb hot guy mm -hmm. all the time. So, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much his story. So, Randall was cheering on his kids with his wife, yeah. Beth. You know, they kept like, the switch side. They had to switch sides because uh, two different kids was playing like two different sports. Yeah. So, they had the season. He's like, no, Look. they was both playing soccer, but one was, they, one was a little older than other, oh, so okay. she couldn't play with her. Yeah. So, he was like, I finished 1500 bucks and I found my daddy, and you know, um, and so it's gonna show up on the Amex, it's gonna show up on the Amex, so I'm just telling you, it's on the Amex. She's like, I don't care about the Amex, like, what happened? So then he was like, look, um, my mama was a crack addict, died in childbirth, and he left me at a fire station. I honestly don't know why I spent 1500 bucks on that. Yeah, because he was like, she asked him if he was gonna go see him. He's like, no, I'm not gonna. And I was like, $1,500. But he did he ended up going to see his daddy. Yeah, he was banging on the door. He's like, I'm your biological son. 36 years ago, he left me at the front door of a fire station. I don't want anything from me. I bought a $140,000 car with cash. And I'm like, okay, you're not sounding too, too he smart He kept saying now. for cash. For cash? He literally kept saying for cash. I bought this car for cash. Yeah, at first I was like, okay, for now you're not sounding smart. He spent $143,000 on a car. Okay, but that's not the point. The point, the point is, he's a successful businessman with a fancy car and a nice family and he did it all without his real daddy because his real daddy left him yeah. at, at a fire station, station. with a doodle field diaper and a ratty so baby. he was like I'm gonna come, in, come over my plan was to come over here tell you off get back in my fancy car and go home so he was about to do that then he stood there and he was like you wanna come in the daddy was like wanna come in he was like okay. yeah Meanwhile, Kate was at a meeting, and, you know, this girl, she was like, I just gained seven pounds in my mid area, and oh my god, I just don't like it. And I'm like... Yeah, me, she was around, she was, like, not skinny, but she was, like, a little person, mm -hmm. and she was around all these people that was struggling with their weight, yeah. and that was what the meeting, meeting was about. And everyone was like... Was about. Okay, Cheryl... But anyway, so yeah, so this lady was like, my mom never let us eat pizza when we was kids, so now, so now when she I just see eat the pizza, whole pizza. I just watch pizza. Yeah, so then, you know, this guy was like, I just pictured you stapling yourself. Oh, he was making jokes. He sounded so dumb. Then Kate was laughing, so she was like, I live across the line. He was like, your name's, he said his name was Toby, and um, he's like, you want to be fat friends? And she was like, okay, whatever, we'll do. But we'll she can't friends. fall off a no fat guy right now. Yeah. So he was like, okay, well, I'll just lose the weight. To lose the weight. Meanwhile, Rebecca was in labor. She was like, I'm sorry about what I said, if I, whatever I say in the next two hours. And the doctor was like, oh, let's start a raid. But you have some complications. We're going to need to have this conversation. So Jack was like, no, we're not having this conversation about, you know, how they like how the babies are positioned inside of her. Mm -hmm. So he was like, look, we have three healthy babies. I already paid for three freaking cribs. My mama already threw knitted three onesies. And she's a terrible knitter. It took her a really long time. We're coming out with three healthy babies. We're coming out. So then she was like, he's like, it's my birthday. Everything's going to go good today. So then she was like, um, he was like, isn't that right, baby? She was like, yeah, yeah, baby, that's right. We're gonna come out with three kids. I was like, so then he's like, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you're gonna know this. I'm saying you mean it. I mean it. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I'm telling you. Don't you know he that we're gonna come out? He was just trying to be real positive and optimistic that his babies was gonna come out healthy and strong. But the doctor was, you know, just trying to, you know, assure, assure him. him that you know this could go wrong. You he see, he like, said that's when he get yeah. that lawsuit. Yeah, he was like. Okay. okay. We're gonna try to make this yes. happen for you. Yeah. So Randall, you know, he <sighs> was talking to his dad or his bio dad anyway. So he's like, I've been told, you know, about all of this and that. No, this is not about you. So he was like, Look, I don't remember leaving you at the fire station, but I do remember your mother dying in childbirth. He was like, But I do like fire stations, so that does sound like something I would do. Yeah. So he was like a drug addict mm -hmm. or alcoholic or something like that. So he really couldn't remember anything that happened all long time long ago time like ago, that. Years ago. But he was like, you know, he really, the way, I liked how the way the scene was kind of going, the way he, the son was like, he was trying to tell him off, but at the same time, the daddy was looking sad, mm -hmm. and then he was like, he was agreeing with him, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I know I messed up, mm -hmm. and I know it's nothing I can say. He was like, yeah, I know it's not, I know. I know yeah, that. he was like, I'm gonna start him out, forget you. Then he came back, he's like, you want me to your grandchildren? And he's like, I'll get my jacket. So he went and got his jacket. Meanwhile, Kevin was talking to Alan Thay, hey. And um, he was going to be on that Manny show. So he's like, get out of my fake Caucasian set house. So 
they was acting, but then the writer was like, hey, can, can, you, can you do that again? With just just put the shirt off. I'm like, yeah, but they, the first scene was so good and strong and about, actually about something. And then the writer was like, you know, I wrote that and everything, but we got to do this other scene because it's funny and you got to have your shirt off. Yeah. That scene reminded me of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Don't even like, take no. That's not as good. It's really bad. But yeah. he was like, okay, this is enough. I had enough. I'm not going to be... No, your piece of meat no more. He was going off. He broke the baby's head. He's like, because it was in front of us live studio so audience. He was I like, what is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? I know it's like spoiled the I show. Know. He was like, what is wrong with y'all? This is all y'all fault, really. It's not even the writers' fault for writing the stupid stuff. It's not the network for putting the stupid stuff on. Mm -hmm. It's y'all fault for watching the stupid stuff and supporting the stupid stuff and it's making so me famous. Yeah. So then he was like, you see, the only thing that's real is that suitcase. But he opened it up. He's like, it's no claws in there. He's like, Alan, where you going with no clothes? So he's basically screaming. He's like, I'm not going to hit you. So then he's like, yeah, Ryan Gosling isn't going to do this. I'm not no animal. So he's like, I quit. So he's like, I love you, Alan. And Alan's like, yeah, that was fun. Just just leave Yeah, but now he's not even getting paid, though. Because Alan yeah. was getting paid a pretty penny for that. Yeah. So they was in labor. Re Rebecca was in labor. She pushed. She had one baby boy that came out, healthy yeah. baby boy. But then, you know, she was getting really dis. She was in a lot of distress. So the doctor's yeah. like, "Look, I'm gonna have to go and she get them." She was going kids. in and out. Yeah, so, so they she had to, to give her the oxygen and everything. They had to do the C-section. So this is what happened. They hubby was, had to leave her room. Hubby, he had to leave the room. You know what I'm saying? It was the doc came out. He's like, "Rebecca's virus is good." Um, the second baby was a girl, but they lost the third child. So he was like, "Wait." Wait, I'm not. He wasn't processing it. Mm -hmm. He didn't process it at all. So he was. He. I was like, Why do you keep saying this? And please. Stop I know saying the that. doctor. The way the doctor was saying it, it was like it was okay. Like, I know. He was like. He was like. You lost a third baby, but you got two healthy ones, a boy and a girl. So then I was like, Please stop saying that. So then he sat him down. He's like, You want me to sit down? So he's like, Yeah. So then he was like, Look, I lost my wife last year to cancer, and he's like, I'm just working to pass the time. He was married for 53 years, five children, 11 grandkids. And he was like, we lost our very first child during the delivery, so I know what you're feeling. He's like, I've been working this job for five decades, delivering babies, and he's, he feel like he's saving yeah. other kids. He's saving more kids than kids that I've lost. Yeah, so he was like, you know, um, makes if it's, if it's not, he said if it's not, if it's not, you, if lemons are never too sour where you can't make something that's resembling lemonade. So, yeah, he was like, go see your babies. They excited to see me, they dad. Maybe they got a good one. I'm like, dang. Mm -hmm. Way to lay it on a but man. But that's how they really are. They really like that. Seriously. Yeah, and it was really, really sad. Because he yeah. was like, and he was just like, yeah. Like, he was like, oh, stone face. Mm -hmm. It's like, he didn't get a hug or anything. I'm just like, So, he went to go okay. see his babies. But, meanwhile, Randall um, and his wife. He came, she came down like, you need help with the bringing up. Who is this in my house? I know. He brought him to her house. She was like, the kid was like, Daddy was like, the kid's kid was like, you got a hole in your pants. And she was like, isn't that what the cool kids do? And she's like, not like that. And he was like, if I say, yo, that make me cool. And she was like, no, you got holes in your pants, you hobo, stop. He <laughs> <laughs> So, Randall, yeah. he was to go talk to his wife about, she was like, okay, what's going on? Why is he in the house? And then she was just kind of like, okay, it's okay. But then he was getting all mm -hmm. frantic and I was like, I don't even know everything I wanted to say to this man. I said the opposite. Then I brought him to the house and I didn't know what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. Then the kids was like, daddy, what's going on over there? Ooh. Yeah. So he was just like going, it was like going back and forth. Meanwhile, Kate was out with Toby. You know, they just had a nice dinner, yeah. you know. The guy was like, would you like dessert? And he was like, I love dessert. I indulge in dessert, but I'll just like to check. So they passed on dessert. So he was like, can I come in? Can we get a nightcap? You just leave me out here. So she's like, ha, 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 very funny. You're not coming in. But then she ended up letting him. I was like, oh. anyway. But yeah, so then she was like, I'm 36. This is not a very pretty picture up mm -hmm. under here. So then Kevin was there. So she was oh, like. drunk. Yeah, she was like, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh my God, is this the funny fat guy you met at the thing? And he was like, well, my name's Toby, but yeah, that's me. So he's like, he's oh, like, oh my God, you the man -y. Yeah, so, you know, he's like, you ain't shit nothing. I'm an artistic a piece of, you know, integrity. So then it was Mario Lopez. It was Mario Lopez on there reporting, reporting for duty. He was like, you know, um, talking, saying, oh, this Kevin, this, this, did this and that, you know, doing his thing. Went and crazy on set. I know. And Toby was like, I feel real bad for Alan because he had to go through that. Yeah, Kate was drinking. 
the wine, you know, Toby and Kay really didn't want to drink because of the calories. So yeah. then he was like, I just torpedo my career. You could take some. I'm like, no, she can't. Don't yeah, he was like, you could take, what, 100 calories? And then they both said 150. Yeah. You know, because they're trying to watch their calories, but. Yeah. So he's like, what if I'm not, you know, the man no more and I can't do anything else? So she's like, you can do Broadway. And he's like, I can't sing. And the other guy's like, you can do adult films. And he's like, I got to think about that one. So Toby was like, I got to go get some wine for this because this is too much. Meanwhile, Randall showed William his parents, and he, he told him, you know, how they mm -hmm. took him into the hospital. You know, he was like, I'm dying. So then, he was like, you mean you sick? He's like, no, sick was months ago. I'm dying right now. This is, I'm at the, toward my ends, and the kindness you showed me was amazing. So he was about to leave. Yeah. But, you know, he was like... I was trying to figure out what, how is this all connected with anything. Yeah. He was oh about God. to leave, because then, Randall, was gonna, Randall let him stay, so they went back... I'm like, this is what I always say when people went to go see their kids in the, in the, in the like, the, the baby yeah. thing. How do people know which kid is theirs? I don't know. They, I sh you shouldn't let the nurses and stuff take the kids to that place. Like, how do they know? Mom didn't let nobody take us nowhere. Mom's like, no, they're going to stay on the side of the bed. They can't go nowhere. They're not like, going down the Like, how would you know? Like, they're not going down the hall. They're not going down the hall. They're not going down the hall. But yeah, so somebody told Jack life is strange. And then I started seeing, it was, I was seeing old, I was seeing old yeah, TV. At first it was, they wasn't showing the all the other people around. But that's why he had the beard. That's why his style was the way it was. I thought he was just like an oldie, you know, mm -hmm. like he wear throwback stuff and all that. Yeah. But, so, oh my this is what God. happened. I saw it was a black baby oh in there. Oh my God. So, this is what happened, guys. So, he... Well, wait, the black... It wasn't just a black baby. The guy came... He went to go mm -hmm. see the babies like the doctor told mm -hmm. him to. Then this other guy come up, the fireman. He was like, oh, which one are yours? He was like, those two. I got the twins. Mm -hmm. He was like, which one is yours? To the fireman. He was like, oh, none of them. I just found this baby at my fire station. And I was like, oh, oh my God. God. So, this is what happened. So, oh he was like, you know, life is strange. So, then... Kate was telling Kevin, you know, there's no, you know how daddy said there's no lemon so sad that you can't resemble lemonade. And I was like, that's a black guy in a picture. They all got the same dad. They all brother. That's yes. why they all have the same, what's it called? He took the baby in. That guy it left was at the fire station, which is Randall. Because they all had the threes. They showed at the end. It said the big three, onesie number two, oh one, two, and the three. I was like, it's a black baby. I was like, that's Randall. That's so crazy. That was so crazy. It was like, I, it was so crazy. I didn't even know. I, I didn't know this until I saw the TV. I was like, what What year is this? The bar was oh like, my oh my God. And I was like, wow, everybody looks so retro, spectral. I didn't know, but yeah. That was the biggest, like, twist on a series yeah. premiere it was it was just gonna happen i didn't think i was like what oh my god that was crazy that was crazy that was crazy <sighs> that was crazy i was like he took that kid that's why they all turned 36 that one day that was crazy so yes. next week the network basically owned kevin i had more notes but if you guys this look what happened i i wasn't i wasn't even paying i was trying to watch you I had more notes, yeah. but yeah, so it, that was crazy. I was not expecting that. I know, because then Randall, when he was talking to his mm -hmm. biological dad, he was like, yeah. He was like, oh, your dad must have been proud of you. Mm -hmm. But he was showing him a picture, and he was like, yeah. He said it was just kind of a miracle the way it happened. And it was because he lost one baby, then he saw that other baby, then they took that baby in. I know. And he went to go tell the wife, you know, she was sad and everything. But are they still alive? I don't think so. But, but yeah, it was so, so, I was this so crazy. is such a heart jerker, like just jerking all around. Like I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know where yeah. it was going. I didn't know where it was going, and then it was like, it's it was funny. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny, but not too funny. It's like yeah, funny. It still got serious. It's like it's real like life funny stuff. in a depressing way. Yeah. So it was like, oh my god, wow, that yeah. was just wow. I was like. What did you think about the show? I thought you, that before it came on, you was like, I'm not gonna, gonna watch this. I was like, I'm not gonna watch it anymore because I didn't know I'm I, not gonna watch I this needed some drama. I needed some kind of twist. Like, I don't just watch regular shows. You like, thought it was gonna be sappy and like, yeah, I didn't, I like, I, anatomy. I, yeah, I thought it was like one of, like, one of those shows. Like, I don't watch shows like that. I need twists, I need turns, I need murderers and mysteries. I need all of that. So, but when this happened, I don't know, I might watch Maybe it. Maybe you need to chill on the violence and murder and get with the love. 
But yeah. <laughs> Did you like the genre? But um, it was it was cool. Yeah. I like that twist at the end. Yeah, I think it, it was the way they did it. I'm like, oh. yeah, I gotta see if his dad's lying about being sick. Though. I know. She was like, the wife set him down. Like, are you really sick? Are you really sick? Because he started asking mm -hmm. for money. Yeah. Wow. Oh. So it's like, it's crazy. What? That's what somebody just said too. Jack isn't just a bearded hipster with an affinity for denim. He was in no, the 70s. No, I thought he was like, mm -hmm. throwback. That's crazy. That seriously, I know. Who did that? They, writers, producers, y'all. I that never saw like anything like that. Like on the, the baby was season premiere. I know it was like straight up a twist. Whoa. The baby was perfectly aligned. Whoa. And he was like, "I'm gonna adopt you, kid," because it was a man and baby. So he went to Rebecca, and it was just that was, that was crazy. That was crazy. So maybe he do remember leaving him. Maybe he do. You think he do? I want to see what's going on. I want if they like hanging out together or something. I mean, I want if like I want if they still close, like Randall, Caden, and Kevin. I think so. Cause did they send each other text messages or no? Um, well, for their birthdays. Cause I know Randall mentioned the man, and he was like, "I do I do this and oh, that." Oh, he had the poster. Yeah, he oh, had the poster okay. in the room. Okay. Yeah, and they still had their pictures together, so yeah. But they didn't spend. Nobody spent their birthday together, except for Kevin and Kate. Only because he got fired. He yeah. wasn't going to come over there he otherwise. <laughs> but that was pretty great. That was crazy, man. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. comment. And tell us your thoughts on this show. And we'll see you guys next time. Check out the other videos. Check out the other videos. videos. You think it's going to be canceled? I hope not. I mean, I hope it's still very interesting. Mm -hmm. and wow. More twists and turns, maybe. Oh. I just want... I was like... What? That's... It ain't cute. I was like, who that black man in a Porsche it's picture? so good. So crazy. But yeah, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.